the views and things like that is going to come. But if you're trying to push yourself in the algorithm, start studying it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. research uh-huh, the him. stuff that you really passionate about because that's okay. what I do. You know what I'm saying? I go in a rabbit hole about a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you really care about your music and want to see the views and things like that, go up, start researching about it and invest into yourself. It don't have to be a lot of people feel like they need a huge budget to pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you really don't like just if you even if you still working in nine to five, like use some of your check to invest into your music nah, or bam, some ads. I like that you you know what I'm that. saying? Like do some ads and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and shit. You'll push yourself into the algorithm. Most definitely. Look, my city ain't playing the book and me sleeping on BZ. Fuck it, I'm solid, huh? BZ be step on the scene. Now all of these bitches ain't what some call it. These niggas be looking for donor. They selling them dreams. You know that they bought it. D boy that I spit, I'm the owner. My flow like Corona, bitch. I got them coughing. If they guessing, I'm diesel. Hey, yo, what's up, man? This your boy, Lano XL, Mr. 18 Pockets. Hey, yo, and what's up, man? This your guy, Mr. McGee, a.k.a. Born Rich, a.k.a. Boopin' and Lano. We in the building, bro. For sure. Who we got today with us, Lano? Oh, we got somebody who been causing a motherfucking problem. Oh. She is a problem. This is somebody who <laughs> has been coming down timelines. Yeah. Somebody who been... Traveling, rapping. I seen it. I seen yeah, it. Yeah. I like, seen it. it. Okay, you, I seen it. I seen it. it. <laughs> we got B3 Live in the motherfucking building. Yeah, you already know what the know fuck what going is. on. What up with you, B? How you doing? I can't complain. What the fuck is going on? When you say, what, what the fuck is going on? They know what the fuck going on. When I open my mouth, when they hit them reps, they going to know what the fuck going on. Okay. Okay. Hey, listen. Yeah. I, I, I ain't nothing I can say about Hell that, Hell no. I'm scared yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't. Yeah, I that ain't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, I got that thing with the switch on it. She do too. Okay. Nah, baby. Look, look. Nah, baby. She we do too. We don't sit down no value. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love it, though, man. Listen, we, happy, sure. to, we happy to have you here, man. You Most looking definitely. good. Thank uh, you. Smelling good. There's a bunch of uh, musty niggas in here. And well, and not me. A, <laughs> nah, <I'm sorry. laughs> Look at you me and say that. You bring a, a breath of fresh air. Um, Thank you. Not only, not only to this room or to this podcast, but mm-hmm. to the music scene. Though. Yeah. We, I, I really fuck with your music. Yeah, I fuck yeah, with yeah. your movement and all of that. Speaking of fucking with your uh, movement, mm-hmm. I guess I want to know, like, when did this rap thing start for you? Um, it started about like five, six years ago. I was just really dibbling, dabbling in what I wanted to do as a career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just trying to find my way as a woman, a mm-hmm. person. You know what Most I'm saying? Definitely. And when I got on stage for the first time, the crowd went crazy. And I was just like, damn, this is where I'm supposed to be in it. So you weren't nervous the first time? Mm-mm. So- well, I ain't know how to hold the mic, though. You didn't know how crazy. to hold a mic. I, it was all the way down here. I was like, make them pay my rent. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> took like a showcase. A, a school play. Yeah, a school play. <laughs> so what? So look, if you was, so the first time you grab, you know, you started doing this and you didn't know how to grab the mic and stuff, what got you into start having confidence? Um, I've been here confidence before I did music, so it didn't come with the music. But, you know, sometimes when you go to, like, different shows, it be five people there, 10 people yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever sure. case may be, you just really got to just think to your own self. Gotta like, tune right, that you shit gotta, out. Yeah, you got to give yourself your own confidence and be like, no matter who in the room, I'm going to do what I got to do. Yo, because like one on person, stage. listen, I done been in clubs and I seen five people and I seen people didn't even want to perform. You know, I'm like, hell But nah, you never know who them five perform. people Most is. Definitely. Like, them five people, it could be somebody right there that can change your whole career, you know what I'm saying, can lunge it into the right direction. So right. you just got to give all of your fucking energy every you right, time. You do. You I, right. I say this all the time, and I just I just said this while y'all wasn't even here, so I'm going to reset. I said. Say that shit. I think that B3 is the hottest female Right now, pop it, pop it. I said yeah. that. I said yeah. I feel like she's the hottest yeah. popping, and I say that because I see you don't stop at all. You drop freestyle. You drop so much great content Thank you. to the point I be like, damn, she's like, moving. Yeah, you moving right, and when you moving, and when you catch emotion like that, and when you got that traction, you can't stop, and you somebody I'm seeing constantly not stopping not stopping moving 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 uh i guess what um to piggyback off what he's saying like what is the motivation um yeah for that for you not stopping to make sure i'm gonna keep hitting these niggas on the head i'm gonna keep hitting these people over the head Mm -hmm. what 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 is the motivation for that 
Um, it's just I don't. It's just something in me that like I would never give up on myself personally. Like I probably could take like some day. Like you know, you can get in that mode where you just get fall into a bit of a depression stage or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But you yeah. just gotta literally have it within you and pick yourself For back sure. up. Like For sure. Yeah. I wanna uh go back let's go back to the beginning though. Come uh, on, let's go. Let's let's do it. So the beginning, right? I guess the first question I wanna ask is were you raised like in a two parent household or just your mom or, or how, how how did that what what the childhood look like? Uh with my childhood it was just my mama. Mom mm-hmm. got nine kids, so it was all of us in In one house? Mm-hmm. Okay. You the baby? No, nah, I'm the middle child. You know, the middle child. That's why you bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. that's, why, no, that's yeah, yeah. why you bad. That's, a fact. that's why I'm you bad. I'm not bad. bad. I'm yeah. not bad. I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was nine of us in um, one parent household. We just. We were just in the house. Shout out to mom. Mm-hmm. Nice. You know, have you Ooh. ever had a uh, relationship with your father? You didn't know him, or, or how did? How was yeah, it? I had a I had a relationship with my father, but I wouldn't say that I know him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't say that I would just I could just explain him right now down to the T. Like okay. his personality, his character, shit like that. Like I could say uh, some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm surface level. Okay, it'll probably be surface okay. level, but like. Deep yeah, I, I know. Yeah, like saying. I know his name, no. probably where he live, and little just surface shit like that. Yeah, like he, yeah. I was with him. You know what I'm saying? We used to count his money for him, shit like that. But I was. So you got fun. You got memories of him. Yeah. So he did yeah. come around. So you know who he is. Yeah, sometime. he used to come around and make like fried bologna sandwiches and shit. <laughs> Shout out to a country <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, damn bologna hey. sandwiches no more. No, you you still eat bologna sandwiches? You grew up off. I don't eat bologna. See, that's me. I, I ate that eat shit pork. when I was little. Fuck. I don't eat pork. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Alhamdulillah. So, okay. Alhamdulillah. Man, I dig, in, I but, dig into multiple yeah, religions, yeah, so. Yeah. See, we had Sam X on here last week, and you know I done all the way changed uh, yeah, my I brother. Did. So you my said, Muslim so you don't brother. Eat pork. Mm-mm. Damn. Mm-hmm. I used to be around people who say they don't eat pork. Then they be like, hey, bro, put the bacon on the pan. Nah, <laughs> baby, put that lie. turkey you bacon. damn lie. Like turkey I ain't tur- bacon. I ain't yeah, turkey yeah. bacon, but I'm saying mm-hmm. I, I know people that tell you that they didn't eat mm-hmm. pork. Well, you know. But I, then they'll turn that brown and be like, hey, bro, baby, the ain't one on. of them. We got to get know. you off the swing. Hey, you know, do you, know. I'm telling you. No, you might be on tour. I'm like, man, just do it. What's up? The baconator. Eat a baconator on tour. It's crazy. Y'all do none of that. So I'm going to jump in right quick. I'm going to get to some music shit, man. I want to. I want to get to a lot of, I listen to your music, right? Mm-hmm. And so we breaking down your music. And the the music that you create is a lot of in your face, hard on niggas. Mm-hmm. So have you, and the reason I say that is because nothing wrong with, I like that type of music, right? Mm-hmm. Because it, it, it fits. I don't. Well, he don't. I like well, go it. Ahead, go ahead. Because I feel like you make that type of music because you done been through some fuck niggas before, right? Who said this? Your music say that. You tell me. I'm just listening to you. No, I'm asking you. (laughs) Okay. What you asking? I'm asking the type of music that you make, right? Mm -hmm. Is it personal? Is it something that you done been through? Yes. Some of the stuff be personal. Some of the stuff um, I probably take too personal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, What does that mean? Like, I literally had to grow into just letting shit go. Or okay. like just like okay. looking at the comments, like okay, they just talking for real. They just talking, but I'm not gonna respond back into no comments or nothing. If I know I get paid to talk, I'm mm-hmm. gonna rap in my music. You yeah, feel for me? Sure. So yeah. some of the stuff is just like I had to learn how to let some shit go. But more so, yeah, I done been through. I done been through some things or whatever. Yeah, because I remember you had a um, a single that dropped, and the single cover was your mugshot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, great marketing too. I feel Absolutely. like right? definitely. Yeah, great marketing too. Yeah. Um, definitely. Is that something that you learned from also? Yes, I learned that I can't allow my emotions to trick me out of my bag. So the mug shot. Let's get to the mug shot. Yeah, get to the mug shot. Uh, what, what was that about? Charges? What was the charges? The accusations? Or uh, what was that about? Yeah, the accusation allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, okay, allegedly. Allegedly. Was it was just, you don't get in trouble? It was just about, it was assault. That's it. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Oh, so on a, on a man, woman. A woman. I don't hit men because I don't want men to hit me. Oh, nice. most definitely. Oh my God, that's a whole yeah. nother topic. But yeah. you just nailed that. One. <laughs> that's yeah. good. But that's I do want to ask you this: good. so those charges, all of that shit behind you though, like the charges been settled and handled and yeah, all of that type of me. shit. It's behind me. Yeah, there we go. And we're moving I'm, up. We yeah, moving. And we're moving forward, behind. right? And you said you learn, right? You learn from yeah, the mistakes. Learn. I, yeah. Mistake. I didn't say. Well, that. not a mistake, but you learn. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. You learn but from the situation. Mistake, yeah. You learn from the situation. Yeah, That's what said. Us. I went, okay. Hey, yeah. I'm with you. I need to put some boxing gloves on. <laughs> yeah. with you. God, no, <laughs> no, no, but I feel you though. Whatever it was, the, the situation you say you did learn from it, right? Absolutely. So moving forward, let's talk about some music. Let's, let's talk about it. some new shit that you got. What's cooking? What's cooking is TikTok. That's out now on all streaming platforms. It's on my YouTube. It's going crazy without a video. It most definitely is. Y'all go get that. It's going crazy without a video. Without a video. See, that shows how much motion, and that shows how much like a good core mm -hmm. fan base that you done created. Mm -hmm. It's because it's hard. It's Because nowadays, the how the music business is, you go to sleep and you wake up, it's a thousand new rappers. Hell yeah. And Hell it's, yeah. So, it's so, because what's... Um, Go congested ahead, word, it's so it's so many you know different talent now and for you to drop be able to drop your music do you have a um distribute or label anything behind you no it's just i'm you. still independent it's just you pushing uh, me and my manager yeah. for sure shout out to mm. the manager so this is another question that we like to ask um independent route or label is that the goal what's the, it, goal, what's the for goal for it what's the goal is you just got to make everything make sense that's the goal you know what i'm saying the goal is ownership that's ownership sure. all right now ask you this so atlantic call you today or call your manager today mm -hmm. and say yo we won't be make we it make sense yeah. Uh, okay. It makes sense. Uh, fucking four albums. Um, uh, <laughs> For ten, sure. Ten million dollars. Um, so uh, 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 yeah, you know I mean, we give you the is. budget. We get uh video budget. Ten million dollars don't mean I'm getting ten million dollars straight up. That Absolutely. means that you know what I'm saying it's gonna ho build a whole lot of. Gratitude. There you go. That's great. No, you on the perfect podcast. Nashville Public. No, you on the perfect podcast. We all we love yeah, fucking up words. Okay. I say not amicably. Me. He say artists. I say human art, fall. Artists. He what called it human yeah. fall. I love yeah, it. And what word. was the word you was just trying to say? No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word. Interest. Then you yeah. know what I'm saying it's just different different ways that the money is split so it yeah. just gotta make sense just because somebody say 10 million dollars it don't mean i'm gonna take and bite at it yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah we doing it uh money i want money you know what i'm saying but that i'm not driven by it like i'm not finna just go bite at it just because somebody throwing the price up like the paperwork gotta make sense. good shit though gotcha. no, see i'm always been like i'm always been that type of person where i, I want to build it right mm -hmm. like i feel like I see a lot of people that try to open up a restaurant, yeah. but don't open up a food truck first. Mm -hmm. Like I see a lot of people that, that that try to go big and try to, you know, instead of meeting, going through the chilling circuit way to get your career going. Yeah. So I feel like independent first. Mm -hmm. But once you reach that ceiling for independency, most definitely ownership. We want ownership, but we are looking for a partner to be in a label. Yeah, it's yeah. coming it. more yeah, leverage. That's it. And, and, and what she's saying, like, if you build it yourself, then you have all the leverage. Mm -hmm. If I can get these views, um, uh, if I can get all this participation, this audience participation, I can fucking sell out shows she got that shit. without without mm -hmm. this label. Yeah. The fuck I need you for? Most definitely, because that's exactly. how I'm looking you know at it. You know what I mean? Now, you, you can you maybe... When you get to a point, it's just like, what do I actually need you for? You're going to have to talk yeah it has to make sense like, yeah most yeah. definitely yeah, i agree sense. i agree with the uh with the uh independent route uh i want to ask you about uh tiktok though tiktok <laughs> man all right what's the what, what's the concept uh of that song though what is it about tiktok is just basically like time's up like bitches need to okay. wrap it the fuck up everybody Damn. need to just go ahead on wrap it the fuck up you're not eating it tiktok is bad and then it's bad bitch o'clock like i'm a bad bitch i bring out the bad bitches okay mm. oh i'm still in that uh line now what did you bring out the bad no, bitches it's bad bitch o'clock <laughs> Is that damn? It is. It's bad bitch o'clock. It's bad bitch o'clock. Yeah. For me, it's yeah. bad bitch o'clock, bro. So how long? So so when did you drop TikTok? Um, I dropped TikTok in March. In March, mm. and now, how, like you said, what what are the numbers for it? Um, I guess good response. You right. been getting a good yeah, response basically your, your response for it. basically yeah. I feel like I'm getting a great response from it. People love TikTok. I was just I out. It. I was just starting the uh, restaurant. I ain't never been there before. They talking about ablation. Oh, TikTok. so they. I was like, I 
fucking yeah. ass blazing, going ape shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cause I, it's, it's everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. It's everywhere. Every time I come down some of my timeline, I see you get shared so many fucking times. Yeah. Your yeah. TikTok shit. Yeah. Let me ask you: How do you get used to that when you go out in public now and people can recognize you? Um. I don't know. I feel like that that's kind of deep. Like, you really have, have to do, like, inner work to get used to people just really, I don't know, because it come with, like, paranoid shit and, like, yeah, you feeling yeah. like you unsafe and unsecure. Like, Most definitely. But, it, but it, it's, like, for yourself, though. Like, you making yourself feel, like, in, um, unsecure, not safe and stuff, because that's how you making yourself feel. So once you really just keep doing the work with yourself, it is just tunnel vision out like okay they just fucking with me they ain't it ain't that you know what they're I'm not saying? a threat yeah. let me ask you this though i like you said that let me ask you this have you ever been out and about and someone walk up on you and, and they were a threat no okay. for your music since so, you've been so, doing your music so it's just all paranoia pretty much in your mind like if it's not a threat and no one has ever threatened you or walked up on you on no bullshit basically then in your mind because you're just it's like, just like the stuff that i like with my life, I went through a lot of stuff that I never thought that would happen. So now I okay. think about things that might happen. Like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I go into a rabbit hole about anything that could happen. Yeah, that's yeah. me. You know what I'm it's saying? The worst. Like, I think we all do that. That's I, think, yeah. I think we all say, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. And then when we step out, we be like, damn, this could happen. Yeah, that's the worst thing that could sure. happen. You feel Cause me? Cause I'm like you that. just can't let it, I don't know, let it steer you away from being you or doing what you really supposed to be doing or mm -hmm. what you've been called for by god like shit i probably been called to do rap to open up a path for something else like use my platform when i do get big it don't even supposed to be about rap or yeah. you know what i'm saying no like, no it's a fact no it's a stepping stone it's a stepping stone so i had to trust myself more to be like okay they mm -hmm. they fucking with blazing me three she ain't trying to tussle yeah, yeah she Damn. Ain't. And, and you know what's funny though hey, <laughs> you know what's funny blazing <laughs> hey I, you know what's funny she ain't trying to tussle. i think the same thing i go by my uh dime of weed and i think this nigga finna rob me I'm like what the nigga? Ain't and then he I have cried. to look at myself. I say, you know what? Slow down. Mm -hmm. You got ten dollars, nigga. Yeah. He's not finna rob you for your ten dollars. Yeah, we most bro. definitely. So everybody I think like <laughs> everybody kind of think different. Like down. me, I try to. It's not a threat. I try to be cautious. I don't move around a lot like I used to move around. Mm -hmm. I feel like the platform that the platform we grow, we got is most definitely growing. Is doing so wonderful exactly. to us. So I try not to be accessible like that. So when I do you see can't. people, so when I do see people out and about and they acknowledge us for what we do. I I do feel so humble, so gratitude mm -hmm. by it, but I also still have my wall up because yeah. I do know things that can happen. I've been through things, then saw things happen. So I understand. So don't fuck yeah. with me. I don't. Yeah. I don't fuck so with So now I want to ask you I'm this out. right here because I ask this a lot too, right, to artists. As of right now, you've been dropping singles, I see, right? Mm -hmm. So is this is like, when will we get a full album from B3? Um... TikTok out now, y'all go stream that <laughs> yeah. and go play that. Nah, what's up? You got. I mean, we just, we just want to know though because listen, you got diehard fans. Like I'm not. That's most definitely why a uh, seat is right here for mm. you because like your name for the last eight nine months has just been ringing and we Facts. like we that's fuck with your shit. Mm -hmm. But I know you got like diehard fans like who really want to know this shit. So right now you just said you got in the lab. You just dropping singles, teasers for us. Or is we can we? I just feel like I'm still grinding. Album? Like I'm still grinding. Um, I appreciate all of my diehard fans or people that listen to my yeah, music. For but sure. it's just people that haven't even heard running shit. You know what I'm saying? I dropped that six years ago. Oh, it's people okay. that haven't heard Big Tipper. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like that's the hit for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like just shit, just going on like i gotta keep pushing my music like like y'all said like this shit not local or anything like that even the surrounding areas like i i'm trying to get all of that trying to get a mm -hmm. buzz this is global this is yeah. global shit it most definitely so sound like it and i'm most definitely gone you know what i'm saying an album is in the future mm -hmm. you feel me but right now i'm pushing like i'm doing the groundwork is the all right singles singles is the main push That's right basic. now which For is sure. which is cool and you said you spoke about uh travel traveling and being global mm -hmm. um your social media show you was at a uh, south by southwest yeah how was that yeah how <laughs> hey, you yeah. turned up yeah. i ate that up you did so how was, was yeah what was that like it was great the outcome was great you know what i'm saying a whole lot of people came and hit me up a whole lot of net network connections was made mm -hmm. stage was eight Outfits so you performed eight. on the stage? A couple of stages, wasn't it? I yeah. performed every day, probably like three, four times every day. 
Hey, let me ask you this, Damn. right? Because I talked to my homeboy, and I think That's he just he just left Nashville and went down there. Yeah, for also, sure. Just, I'm finna go down there. Mm. I got merch. I got CDs and shit, mm. right? And when I asked him, I said, bro, how was that like? He said, next year, I'm going to make sure I plan for Like, he said, he's planning for next year South by Southwest right now. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, that's what I want to ask you. Like, is that the best way? So just say me. If I'm an up-and-coming artist, what mm. advice would you yeah. give me about going to South by Southwest to really get some mm -hmm. shit moving and popping. To get popping, for sure. I would say prepare yourself for the weather. You know what I'm saying? The weather? Um, what yeah. that, what you the mean weather. By that? Like, the weather be different down there. Like, sometimes it be cold to tell, it be mm -hmm. hot to tell. Prepare yourself for that. If you are performing on multiple stages, just have the type of a wear out clothing or whatever that mm -hmm. you okay. need, like with your feet and everything, baby, because I be wearing heels and I be... <laughs> Them little Tearing toes was up. cold as hell. <laughs> I be setting up my feet be hurting. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. so, but I still. But you got to move be through it, right? Babe, I got to be curt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is that me? I feel that. <laughs> and network like don't be afraid to get in people face and let them know who you are you yeah, know what I'm saying sure. like like your people had the merchants things like that yeah. like network don't be afraid to go down there and be like hi my name is this my name is that you a lot of people feel like they bigger than what they are or just oh, have hell, to be yeah. head on shit so. especially sure. here in this oh shit. my god we're especially listen we don't even want to get into that because y'all know how <laughs> yeah, the fuck yeah, I feel like, about that yeah, like, no, don't do it uh, don't do it we like, have no. a lot of artists don't that do, do it like, no. don't talk about these Hollywood ass niggas nah who, who drop one because this person right because listen B3 dropping yeah she dropping and she What's coming down your timeline. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Nah, you I funny. love it. I love nah, it, though, man. Funny. So uh, South, South by Southwest, um, uh, great experience. Let me ask you this, right, because my I've never been. <gasps> oh, this is one more go thing, ahead, too. Ahead, like, ahead. also, make sure y'all get into, like, the um, conferences and stuff like that mm. because there's a lot of things behind the scenes that's going on with South by Southwest. Um, other than the stages, okay. so it's like a pe it's a lot of people that do shit behind the scenes. They create festivals and oh, Spotify okay. playlists, like mm -hmm. the people that matter more yeah. so behind the scene, like people that made TikTok was there in the conference. Oh, you know oh shit! So Damn. Just uh, focus on that stuff too, instead of just like uh, um the stages. So that so that really answered the question that I had for you. Yeah, I was saying. So my thing from the outside looking in, I've never been, is that it's important people. Mm -hmm. Down there, What's that's this? behind Austin? the scenes. Austin, mm -hmm. Austin, Texas. Yeah, it's in Austin, yeah. Texas. Yeah. In Austin, so it's important. Central people Texas. In in Austin. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This yeah, this nigga, Central Texas. This nigga want to act like he's the Texas. He's been in Texas for four months. I and now he's what? I know Texas. Stop, man. I know Texas. You was there for four months. <laughs> I, can you. Vouch, I, I, know, I know Texas. I can vouch for you was there for four months. No, three but, uh, months. <laughs> yeah. But important people are at South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. I, I always wondered that, though. Yes. As a guy who never went, I was just like, man. Them. It was like, y'all, Drake walking down the street. I was like, Drake? <laughs> What's Drake? Drake? <laughs> so, look, I, I heard you say, I heard you say earlier, in the conversation mm -hmm. that you got a song six years ago so mm -hmm. that shows that the longevity that you've been dropping music it shows mm -hmm. the what Lano? the longevity not a I word but go ahead. okay man we, we that's one. <laughs> so anyway it shows that you working right mm -hmm. what advice do you give an artist that working right now that's not getting views not getting anything mm -hmm. that's ready to give up Cause you didn't give up. Yeah, don't. First of all, just don't. Uh, give up. She just take it out your vocabulary. Like if you really passionate about it, just take it all out your vocabulary. The views and things like that is gonna come. But if you trying to push yourself in the algorithm, start studying it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. research nah, the him. stuff that you really passionate about because that's okay. what i do you know what i'm saying i go in a rabbit hole about a lot of stuff mm -hmm. so if you really care about your music and want to see the views and things like that go up start researching about it and invest into yourself it don't have to be a lot of people feel like they need a huge budget to pull it off you know what i'm saying yeah. but you really don't like just if you even if you still working in nine to five like use some of your check to invest into your music or some ads, well, I like that you, you know what i'm that. saying like do some ads and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and shit. You'll push yourself into the algorithm. Most definitely. That's a fact. I love that. I love What's that. building your brand means to you? Uh, Building my brand means just grinding, like really just staying persistent. Because a lot of people say consistent. But when mm -hmm. you persistent, that's when, when shit rough and you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you ain't doing enough. It ain't this, it ain't that. Like, mm -hmm. But you still get going at it. So just stay persistent. Don't try to – you can't – I don't know. Like, people be trying to go around the grind. Like, you can't. 
you can't now you can't cheat the grind. So uh, let me ask you this: So we had uh, our sister up here, uh, uh, Avriana, right? Mm-hmm. That's uh, my sister. Hey, that's our well, sister. That's my sister too. What? And it's like <laughs> that's our sister. Yeah. What? Yeah. Baby, that's my. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my. That's my our sister. sister. Yeah. And it's on sister. It's and on we ain't never saw you. Before. I ain't heard y'all. I ain't heard you. Yeah. I call her right now. I can call her right now. No, man, call her right now. I can fight. Look, my fight time. Look, I can call her Avriana. Look, already. Lie. Yeah, it is doing it now. Yeah, we can call it. You yeah. stop playing with us. Yeah, man. stop we playing with us. I sister. thought y'all was playing. Man, it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pull up. Right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but look, man. Your we had, uh, <laughs> we had Ariana on the uh, podcast, and we know uh, Strictly for My Ladies is okay. alive. Strictly for the ladies mm-hmm. is alive as well. It's popping. Mm-hmm. And you are a part of that, right? Yes, I am. Most How did you become a part of that? Um, Avriana actually reached out to me. Mm-hmm. You okay. know what I'm saying? So um, I just looked at it and I was just like, okay, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. it made sense, it. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your relationship like with the other women uh, in the in the group? Um, We all... We all good. We all well. You know what I'm saying? We know that we all pushing a That's project. The same project yeah. Yeah. Everybody got their own platform and shit. Mm-hmm. Me and Mimi, we um were already close before the project. So, like, that's we locked in. Yeah, so real. y'all was already cool. The other girls yeah, that yeah. came in. Yeah, but I've been knowing about Sweets, uh, mm-hmm. doing her music and shit like yeah. that. And um, Shell, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've been pushing and shit, too. Mm-hmm. So For sure. So, what about the girl who left? It was a girl that left, right? Who? <laughs> okay. Uh okay. All right. Don't I said, so ne- what do never heard of. Yeah. Them. <laughs> Who? I that's don't know ho- these people. That's horrible. Yeah, you that's, know we're gonna have so, one up here too. So <laughs> Okay. So Trey listen. So, so listen. I'm, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, we just fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. They trying to No. <laughs> 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 hey, they okay. Nah, all right, all right, nah, we ain't no, gonna do I that. do want to say this though, yeah. for real though, for real. So, so what do you think, like for real? Because mm. we see, um, we see the women in rap, right? Most we definitely. see, we see you, sweets. Me, Damn, me. I don't want to leave out nobody. Me, me, shell, and also even on a bigger uh, uh, uh platform, we mm. see Meg, Cardi, Nicki, ev- everybody moving and grooving, man. Mm. What do you think about the state of female hip hop? Right now, not not only just locally but nationally. Yeah, just yeah, the state of. What well, you I'm think like is we that? Running it. Is, is we it? running. We running. Wow, most right definitely now. y'all live. I'm not hearing nothing else. I'm tired. Are of you this not? Shit. I'm, I'm tired. You ain't of this heard shit. Kendrick, Kendrick and J Cole beefing and Drake beefing. Who? <laughs> I never heard Gorilla of Gorilla and JT beef. Oh, no, no, damn, damn! I didn't even say Gorilla. I didn't even say Gorilla. Yeah, I listened to her mixtape. Sexy red. It was bumping. It was bumping. Everything, 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 everything. Yeah. Oh, I like that though. So now that we on to some, what's your dream collaboration? If you could collaborate with anybody worldwide, what do you have like a dream collaboration? A dream yeah. collaboration, y'all. Um, I don't dream. I'm living in it, man. <laughs> Hey, I'm dream. Okay, well, well, right what now. name a song <laughs> that you have collab with someone that? Um, that you feel like um, mm-hmm. made sense, like something that was real good for your for both of y'all. Um, I have did some collaborations. Some of them haven't came out or whatever, but I know I can okay. speak on one that already came out. I got a song named Lil Bitch um, featuring Lil Donald, so that was okay. a real good. Um, that song, song sounds that inspirational. Good... What Lil Bitch? Mm-hmm. It sounds inspirational. It was, they probably it made it real. inspirational too. It sounds like men can really be inspired by that song. For real, Lil Bitch. See y'all, <laughs> and, like I, and, and I'm, I'm a, um. <laughs> Just tell it, you know, piggyback. I'm going to say this to you, man. We got you on the show. We really, really do love your energy. We Thank love you. your content. Now, nah, that, that shit yeah, dope. Yeah, that shit really is. It's a go, right? Because yeah. uh, two we people that I, two people that's not from here, I'll be like, this is who we finna go interview. And as soon as I let them listen to your freestyle when you was about to pay phone, instantly they was like, oh, yeah, I like her. You and you I'm too saying? young for a payphone. You, you sure wasn't alive you 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 when payphones. Yeah, yeah, I hate no you. Ain't hating on you. Nigga was catching sales off payphones. Hey, let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this though, because we know in your music, man. I have to, I got to go back to this line. We go know to in it. your music is mm-hmm. uh, let's uh, pretty much break a nigga, take yeah, I take a nigga pockets. No, it's not. No, it's not. Y'all not listening to all of the lyrics. It's it's never been dead. You got a love song? Never gave in your in your 
got a love? I do. A love song? You got yeah. a Mr. You B3? A there we go. You got a Mr. man? Mr. B3. Yeah. Do you have he a man? He not ever call himself Mr. <laughs> man, B3. Man, hey, you ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> he can call himself Mr. B3. He can call himself <laughs> Mr. B3. <laughs> no, that's real sassy. What, well, Mr. B3? Yes. What about Mr. B? Man, no, yeah. No, he can call himself his name, and I'm supposed yeah. to be calling myself his name. Mm. But do you have a man, though? <sighs> yeah, do you got a man? I'm single, y'all. You single? Yes. What is, I mean, um... Like is, is is that the goal to like? Be, I know I know the goal is not to be forever single. Mm-hmm. It's not the goal, she right? Gonna get married. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm getting married. Marriage is the goal. Yeah, I'm getting married. You um, are we are we like? What are we doing though? Are we trying to handle the business first, or could you uh, could you meet a man who's in line with your with uh with your dreams and and your mm-hmm. future, and you and you and him could really build something, build that empire. Right now, like, I'm not too much trying to plan anything out. Like, when you start trying to plan Mm -hmm. all of that out, it's not going to go as planned. Like, I'm literally just going with the flow. It's not like I'm just saying, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I'm just doing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really just doing me. So, whenever all of that just come about, that's Mm -hmm. when that come about. But I'm not more so just trying to zero in and plan it all out or focus on it or try to make it how I want it. That's never how You got a lot of shit going on. I want to know, how is it even dating you? Because you got a lot of different personalities, don't you? Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, so I want to know, I wanna know, like, so even though you're not looking for, it's like. It's fun. It's fun. Is it? <laughs> this the camera. Right. Yeah, that's the camera you yeah, want. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun what? When they t- and you're going to deal with it. See, that's you. what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, you know, oh, and girls crazy. say you're gonna love it here. That's what she's saying. Yeah. You're gonna love it here. That means you're toxic. No, I'm not. Oh my god. When they say that, I'm not toxic, baby. Okay. I don't know who you used to dealing with. I ain't with. just used to dealing with nobody. Don't be telling me I'm yeah. used to nobody on this show. <laughs> yes, you hey, man, I don't know what you talking about on this show, man. Yes, you is. You trying to run up on me baby, on this show. I Listen, man. Toxic, baby, this is my show now. Okay. You can have it. You sure can, can have, have it. This my show now. So but so it's dating you, though. so dating you mm-hmm. is they gonna have fun, but they gonna deal with it and they gonna they listen gonna, to you. No, no, no. Don't say. Okay, well, I'm trying to hear that. what you say. That ain't what I said. Okay, what you say? Dating me, it is gonna be fun, but it's just gonna be you know what I'm saying like more so grow growing and evolving <laughs> things <laughs> like that. So you are gonna grow with me? I know what that mean? <laughs> and, but but it's also <laughs> that mean? That mean he gonna shut up and you gonna do what you can no, tell him I, to do. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the thing about that. That's though. what I get out of. You have to sacrifice. And that's why you what? Because I'm single. what? Who's single? You. Man, I'll, yeah, you know what? Next question. Good question. That's a good question. Next question. That's a good question. That's a good question. I know I, I am single. I'm My single. man's single. I I'm, I'm single. I'm single. I guess. Yeah. You just said. You know, it's funny. Yeah. I hear a lot of people say, I'm single by choice. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. No, you're not, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I ain't gonna lie. Right, he's talking yeah. about you. No, yeah, I ain't. no, I ain't talking about him. I'm <laughs> talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. She want me to be so wrong. And I ain't trying to shit on women. <laughs> I ain't gonna never be wrong. I'm perfect. Talk about- I'm yeah. perfect. See, that's your problem. You think that you're perfect. No, I am perfect. They already told me I'm perfect. I mean, every day a man takes me to tell me I'm perfect. See? I mean, I mean. I'm perfect. Oh, you said God takes Yeah, he you. tell me. What's up, like, no, you perfect. And you be lying. <laughs> no, sometimes. Hey, well, you y'all lie. Lied. No, I ain't just lie, but I just lie. So what else? Yeah. <laughs> <Next laughs> but now we just we we, we nah, so happy we to have you though. up here, man. I'm glad that you got I'm a good personality you. like that, though. Nope. See, you do got a good personality, I and do. I like that. It's not just internet, cause you know some people be on the internet. Then when you see them in person, they not like that. I, I'm really happy that you got that. Say nah, that this, to the camera. This really been nah. That's what she is, y'all. Say she liked it. She liked that. Okay. You see how she making me say that? <laughs> so I that's what type of relationship <laughs> exactly. I can. That's what dating B three will no, make. No, it's say not. Say that. Say that. Tell your mom. No, yeah, I, no yeah. dating B3 would, I will help you articulate your words correctly because some men don't know how to articulate their words correctly and okay. break down nothing like that. I'll help you with your resume, babe. Yeah, oh, you that's, what, that's what helped with I'll B3. Say, you, you ain't fucking yeah. with the right yeah. niggas, man. Uh, I, I'm magnet school, nigga, man. I yeah, know how correct. to articulate the words that I am trying to say. Yeah, I got to say it slow, and though. That's fine, yeah. but some people don't know how to step out their own perspective. Oh, okay. So, okay. Big words. I like, okay. okay. Y'all I already heard. know, man. Y'all see it right here man we got yeah. b3 That's come absolutely. through tear this shit down yeah. she took over the show this is her now, shit she killed it uh, what's, what she um, this shit. um how can the people follow you your, your movement find you on mm-hmm. social media all of that good shit b3 at blazing b3 on everything spotify instagram tiktok facebook everything blazing b3 ain't nothing changed it's blazing blazing hold on black asian like black asian okay Blasian, if you look it up it actually means biodiversity okay so when i say blazing <laughs> 
when I say blazing, that means <laughs> that <laughs> I have lived in multiple parts of Nashville. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes me mixed, mixed with a whole lot of stuff. Like I'm not just um who you know what I'm saying? I done lived around the white folk. I done did like the <laughs> talent shows and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I done lived in the country where you know you almost get picked up by hawks and shit like that. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. I got All you, right. man. Good shit. Shout out to Blazing. So you man. got a mix of everything, again. She's a gumbo. She's gumbo. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, man. Right. And y'all already know who I am, man. I'm Lano XL, 18 Pockets, man. I'm going to say y'all two things. Get money. Stay true. Stay true. Get money. Hey, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> it's not what's up. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. What's yeah. going on? It's me. Mr. McGee, mm-hmm. and listen, I'm going to leave y'all with this, man. If nobody said they love you today, let me be the first one to tell you I love you. I love you. I love you, man. <laughs> we out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace. Hey. Why well, couldn't leave them with something? <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Damn. We should have let you. <laughs>